everyone, it's Sangun. Today, I want to share with some deco items I regret purchasing. Welcome to Lifestyle C. If you are new here, I'm an interior designer and I create videos about poetic interior design and lifestyle. I'm currently sorting out everything in my home and holding off buying new things because I might move to another apartment soon. I've already listed what I don't want to take with me and what I want to upgrade when I move. Also, I found many pieces that I don't love anymore for some reason. So I hope that this will help me to not buy similar things again and it will also help you to avoid some similar mistakes as well. Through trial and error for many years, I figured out I love natural dishware. But I recently made an online purchasing mistake. In the picture, this mug looked like it had a lovely earthy texture, but it turned out to have a cheap looking artificial texture. Once upon a time, the flat pattern was so popular and I picked one. But because the pattern was just printed on, I quickly got bored of it too. So no more of the same mistake. I'm willing to pay more and get genuine, beautifully textured ceramics. Also, I found that Lots of dishware from Portugal are beautiful. Even though I got these dishes from H&M Home at an affordable price. But it's always better to see them in person before you buy. I thought that having different styles of dinnerware and cutlery would make my home dining experience interesting and diverse. But it just made my kitchen and overall apartment look messy. The reason was that other people besides me didn't pay attention to the purpose of each piece and they just used everything. So throughout my apartment, different colors, shapes, and textures mingled and it bothered me so much. So now I can mostly use dinnerware matching together well and suiting my home's atmosphere rather than having too many unique pieces. If I have special sets for specific events, I keep them in a separate place. Once I was obsessed with modern and clean line kitchens, especially those finished with stainless steel. At the time, I bought many stainless steel kitchen appliances, prep boards, etc. Also, when I lived in London, I saw enamel dishes and cups and many cafes and restaurants, and I thought that I loved them. We need to be careful when we constantly see similar style items. You might think that you want to have them too, but they might be not your style. For me, that style of kitchen where doesn't resonate with me anymore. So I gradually want to change my kitchen utensils to a more warm, natural looking style. When I purchased this rug, I didn't expect it be so thin. The picture was taken above and I was expecting something similar to what I'd seen in Morocco. Now I tried to buy rugs after sampling them, seeing them in person, or checking them with lots of pictures. Plus, this tiny bath mat makes me laugh. I paid way too much and it just doesn't look great. I had to choose a small one because of the door, but it could have been thicker and then it might have looked better. 
also dark colors without any texture show dust and stains easily I was always curious why my bed looked so flat whereas in hotels or magazines bedding appears fluffy so I decided to buy a better thicker duvet there were many grades out there and the price differences were huge at the time my old apartment was very cold and I chose one that had extra warmth it was my first time buying a natural feeling duvet and I was afraid of spending too much so I compromised on the quality and chose the most affordable option which was made with 80% duck feather and 20% duck down after using it for a while I found that my duvet was too warm in my new apartment and the feather wasn't so soft it felt spiky so i will invest in quality and upgrade my duvet with a goose down feeling and also choose a year-round option so that i can optimize body temperature and regulate humidity levels Shiny synthetic fabric doesn't help the sofa and bed look expensive. Once I didn't check the material properly and purchased a polyester cushion cover. When I received it, I immediately realized that it wouldn't look great. So I should pay more attention to the material when online shopping and I would rather choose natural materials like linen, hem, hand-woven, or hand-dyed fabrics. I love very diffused lamps and I just feel that exposed bulbs create poor scattered light in general. So I don't use them for the main lighting sources anymore. I do use them just for decorative purposes or even better for an industrial interior style and cafes and restaurants. I didn't buy this projector lighting because of its color changing function, but this remote control is still needed to turn the lighting on and off. The remote control is not pretty little, but it always stays on the desk. So I would like to swap it for some task lamps with a timeless design for my next home. This Monstera is the first large plant that has lived with me for many years. I didn't think much about my taste in plants when I bought it. Monstera plants were seen everywhere and the price wasn't bad so I brought it into my place. I love it in the summertime but I don't feel it fits in other seasons. So when I buy plants for my next home, I will choose more intentionally. I realized that I love trees with small leaves like olive trees, Ficus benjamina or not too exotic looking like fiddle figs. I love to mix materials that have different characters such as wood and fabric versus metal and stone. But one exception is industrial style metal decor pieces. In the past few years, I bought several of those decor pieces but I didn't feel comfortable with them because they were sharp and sometimes have rust. They could work with a farmhouse or an industrial interior style but it's just not my thing. Plus, anything I just purchased because it was on sale or popular on social media. Some items turned out to be good finds, but over time, I realized that it was better to plan, put things on my wish list, and 
purchase them intentionally even when it comes to small items the funny thing is that some items were impressively purchased and I still make mistakes but I've gotten to know my taste better and have learned through experience do you have any home decor items that you regret purchasing? Please leave your experiences in the comments below. As time goes by, I really believe in quality over quantity. We don't need to follow all the trends and buy popular items we see on social media. We don't need lots of bits and pieces. Rather, it's better to have a few quality, unique pieces that have stories and charm. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!